Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to deal with the talk subject called as uh, Television Engineering which is in the JNT UK Beta Car 16 Regulation ECE stream in the fourth year first semester. So in the subject of Television Engineering we are going to deal with the topic called as Interoperability which is in the chapter 6 of Television Engineering. So okay, going to today's topic right about interoperability and standards of emergency LH system. So what is the basic meaning of an interoperability it means the ability of a computer system or a software to exchange and make use of information that means you can exchange the information and you can make a use of that information is known as interoperability so now you got a basic idea of what does this word interoperability mean okay so the interoperability standards of emergency alert system are developed to provide alerts to the nation during emergencies using all the available means of communication so by using all the available modes of communication the interoperability standards of uh, emergency alert system are made so that uh, all the alerts can be reached to the last citizen of the country and nothing is missed from the everyone since it is an emergency alert and the next point is alerts will be broadcasted primarily by responders, emergency and event managers, public health agencies, officials and executive management of all the organizations. So these are the people or a group of systems which will uh, which will transmit the emergency alerts to the people, right? They are nothing but primarily responders, emergency and event managers, public health agency officials and at the same time management, executive management of all the organizations. So the FCC initiated all this, this strategies to develop a multi-platform next generation alert system since we have uh, discussed in our last video that this uh, emergency alert system has some drawbacks which will be overcome by the next generation of emergency alert system so such initiation is taken by FCC so this interoperability ensures that the nation can receive timely and accurate alerts so it ensures that it, it gives surety that it will definitely provide a timely and accurate alerts warning and critical information and simple way irrespective of mode of communication whatever be the different modes of communication like tv internet phones etc it will definitely provide a proper alert in an on-time system right so uh, let us discuss about the future of this multi-platform emergency alert system it has some issues and minimum requirements means this need to be followed by the system it must comply with the existing emergency alert system and national warning system and w stands for national warning system and all the hazard alerts on the needs of state and local alert originators so this uh, new version of emergency alert system should, should basically comply with all this above said things so that it could provide a proper output it must use a common alert protocol it definitely should follow a protocol for the transmission of alerts and the third point is it must be capable of using all the possible means of communication as I said before such as TV, cable, satellite, radio, internet etc. to deliver the alerts. Simply an automated technology to turn on TV and other devices to deliver EAS messages. This is a thing we have never seen before but it actually happens when there is a situation that the, the emergency alert and it should be reached out to the people, TV would be automatically on and that emergency alert is displayed in whatever channel we will watch okay and talking about the next topic is common alerting protocol okay so common alerting protocol is an open standard means it should be followed by the televisions used to share the emergency alerts and public warnings through broadband computer controlled public warning systems and emergency management software applications so it is an open standard where a scope to provide emergency alerts and public warnings will be provided through broadband computer control software so delivering capability is enhanced so for a cap delivering capability will be enhanced thus increasing the effectiveness of alerts during the emergency Emergencies. So, if an alert is has to be uh, reached to the people, then its delivering capability will be enhanced more. So, you can also write the benefits of this uh, CAP, which was discussed in the first video of uh, our uh, series of videos. So, uh, I think in the sixth question, I wrote the benefits of a common alerting protocol. You can uh, reach that video and you can uh, write it down there. Okay, so whatever we discussed in the video, this is a small topic. What is an interoperability? Interoperability, interoperability I'm sorry, is nothing but the ability of computer system to exchange the information and make use of that exchanged information. And what are the standards that it should maintain to provide it? And at the same time, uh, how are the alerts generated by using which modes of communication the alerts are generated? And at the same time, the future uh, of the multi platform emergency alert system. And at the same time, uh, it must and should follow a common alert protocol. 
and uh, about common alerting protocol the last topic and it is an open standard use it to provide or deliver the emergency alerts and warnings thank you for watching this video we'll be back with my next video thank you